Hello students, I am Gautam and welcome to Home Institute. Today with me, I have Mr. Pranay Reddy, who secured All India Rank 21 in the recently conducted GATE examination and he secured 21st rank in the ECE paper. I heartily congratulate him first, Pranay. Thank you. Congratulations. Keep it up. So, actually Pranay uh, is from Electrical. So, in, in fact, Pranay, why don't you introduce yourself, your academic background, etc. Hello, guys. Um, I have completed my B.Tech in Electrical and Electronics Engineering from NIT Calicut. Uh, I am a candidate of 2020 pass out. So, uh, in my final year itself, I got an opportunity uh, to work in Delta Electronics as a testing engineer. So, uh, the posting was in Bangalore and uh, I was there working for around one and a half year. Uh, even at that time, I was thinking about doing my master's, but I was not sure about it. So at that time, I was thinking, uh, should I go for PSUs or MDEC? I had uh, many thoughts. I, I even considered IES at one point. But uh, after, at that time, COVID was there. So I took my time because at that time, uh, even master's guys were uh, studying from home. So I took my time and uh, finally decided that uh, I had good, I would, I would have a good future if I go for uh, MDEC in uh, EC related branches. Then I started inquiring about uh, ECE. Then I got to know that uh, recently GATE, uh, I think three years back, it will allow to uh, attempt two papers. Even if it was not two, I would attempt ECE as my first paper. But uh, then I asked my seniors about it um, because some of my seniors were doing uh, MTEC in VLSI, even though they are from electrical, uh, they used the uh, they used uh, the scope scope thing only. So after that, uh, then I inquired them about uh, where where should I take coaching or at first should I take coaching or not because some of those guys were self prepared. So I, I took advice from them. Then I got to know about uh, Home Institute. So I left my job completely. Then I moved to Hyderabad. Then I started uh, inquiring much more about all the institutes. I went by myself and I inquired. Then um, my main question was about uh, I am an electrical student. How will I, uh, how will I be able to cope up with ECE students uh, in in a coaching institute or even for in MTech? Uh, so uh, wherever I get, went, I didn't get a uh, proper answer for that question. Everyone said, okay, you can go through electrical only. Why don't you attempt electrical? But uh, I realized that uh, it would be better for me if I do uh, if I do my preparation in ECE only. Then. Uh, in Home Institute, I inquired uh, very keenly about uh, EC faculty, especially because I know that uh, most of the syllabus is same. But for the Texas three subjects, I had uh, three subjects, uh, EDC, EMTL and communications. So those were much more important to me because I had not even, uh, I had not even know about a single thing uh, about those three subjects. So. I was worried about those three. So, he's referring to EDC, yes. EMT and uh, communication. communication. Yes. Yeah. Then uh, when I started speak, uh, started to consult faculty here and all, then I realized that I can uh, even every class, uh, even if it is a common subject or electrical core or EC core, they will start from very basic level. So, then after taking some time, then I decided it's better uh, to, uh, to join preparation here in Home Institute. Then, um, Yes, sir. So that's how I joined uh, Mr. Fine. Okay, it was a very lengthy <laughs> answer, but uh, very useful for the students. So the point is, he is actually from electrical, but he took that uh, leap of faith, you know, to put electrical aside and actually prepare only for EC. So it is not that he was preparing parallelly for electrical and EC. He completely prepared only for EC. In fact, uh, he applied for both electrical and EC papers. Correct. Yes, sir. But you did not appear for the electrical no, paper sir, itself. So in the morning, electrical paper was held, mm. for which he did not attend. He only attended the ECE paper. That itself shows how much confident he was about his ECE preparation. So he was so confident that he, he felt he need not uh, go and write the electrical paper itself. Yes, okay, sir. very good. Okay, since you are uh, from electrical background, I am sure for you, at least initially when you started preparing for EC, the core subjects of EC, that is EMT, EDC and communication would have definitely felt like Greek and Latin. So how did you overcome that? 
completely new feeling yes no uh. so uh, for especially for edc emtl and communication uh, what i wanted to do is anyway i don't know any any basics about them so i wanted to follow everything at one place because uh, when i was hearing uh, when i was listening to the classes and when i was going through class notes i didn't uh, make it much complicated i i kept it very simple uh, what i did was every day i would listen the class uh, i would not search for too many resources i have one resource i would follow that repeatedly if i had any doubt i would consult the faculty because no class notes has covered almost everything so i didn't have an issue about um, what if these things are not covered i didn't have that issue whatever is in my class notes that's what i know that's the only things i know uh, i try to uh, get perfection in those things and after completing my uh, going through my class notes for every subject i think uh, almost all of them i completed uh, uh, doing pyqs um, my uh, okay at that time uh, i was thinking like uh, should i do it two three times it would be better if you have if you have done it uh, two three times but first concentrate about going uh, through the first time very clean, keenly don't uh, don't plan like uh, i want to complete uh, these things two three times don't rush into things take your time uh, i think uh, that's what i did i took my time i went slowly for each subject each, uh, you divide into things uh i think i divided each chapter each topic i would do one topic at a time i would not overburden myself uh, so i did not do anything else i i listened to my uh, my classes then i went to my no, uh, notebook i still have all my notes i i kept them as my reference they are my first point of reference faculty is my second point of reference um uh, after completing going through the notes i completed pvqs Uh, then i thought i would do it uh, many more times like not many more but uh, at least two two or three more times but i didn't get that time uh, but uh, as i did the pyqs first time very keenly it was much helpful to me so just to summarize what he said he completely relied on what was taught in the class he stuck to the class notes and he was very keen about what were the problems uh, being solved in the class and after that he only restricted himself to pyqs yes in fact this is the best strategy i would say so you don't have to solve hundreds and thousands of problems just to make sure you are very good in a particular concept if you solve two three good questions from any standard textbook followed by all the related pyqs that is enough that will suffice okay and that is what pranay did so the thing is you pick limited things and you do those uh, limited things repeatedly don't always run after resources so don't join telegram groups solve some questions from here another youtube don't waste your time on youtube youtube is not for at least preparation i would say if you have one or two doubts here and there in some topics for that you can rely on youtube so if you are thinking that you can completely do it through youtube then you have to rethink okay anyway that's a different story so in your preparation journey yes. during classes and also once the syllabus got finished how did you regularly assess yourself that you know you are always re- reaching that level yes. during classes and after the syllabus got finished okay sir so uh, during classes i would go through pyqs then firstly i would understand uh, what is my level of preparation consi- like compared to gate so in that class the, uh, what uh, what the like those things i learned did, did they help me to solve pyqs or not then after going through pyqs then we had class test i took each and every of those class test very seriously because uh, i had limited number of questions right uh, all the pyqs i had gone through uh, gone through completely so i wanted new questions so there at that point i had class test so uh, in the class test i attempted each one of them even though if i didn't uh, attempt them properly i would not back. able to solve yes mm. sir mm. i would go back i would go back and uh, do them again i, uh, I on would, your own yes sir on first own. you try on your own yes, then sir. you may be approach a faculty yes sir yeah. if mm. i still have some more doubts i would mm. go to a faculty and i would ask mm. them uh, why i am getting that wrong mm. yeah uh, and i attempted almost all the class tests here from i joined in i think last year february from that point whatever tests like whatever subjects i learned 
uh, whenever it uh, like we had a test here uh, they would inform us uh, sometime before only we, uh, at that time i would revise my notes then i would attempt them properly i wouldn't used to take them lightly uh, that it's just an exam it's just a class exam it wouldn't help me it will help you in some way because you had learned the subject uh, so it will help me and i can uh, guarantee say that it has helped me a lot so tell me frankly pranay yes this year's ec paper hmm. is it uh, tough or very easy uh, out of those two choices i would choose uh, very easy yeah. but uh, from a student's perspective i hmm. feel it is little from uh, easy to moderate hmm. if you are confident in your preparation uh, at first you might uh, a, questions were not that much tough it would take some time to understand uh, how the paper is but once you get into the rhythm i think if your preparation is uh, on point it would uh, it would be easy it would not be tough if you study all the concepts here like uh, not completely uh, partially if you study here and there then i think it would be a little hard yes but uh, you will face you, some difficulty yes, sir, mm. if you have a proper source and if you completely follow that source i think a uh, paper would be easy I and think, see, in my opinion, even I went through the paper, barring five questions, mm. the two from EMT and maybe communication, yes. rest all, every question is very straightforward. Mm. See, it's all about exam management. So, it's not about how much you learn and how much you practice. It's about how you manage those three hours. And it's also about the temperament and the mindset. Yes. So, first of all, you should have that calm mindset. And number two, you should not have any kind of expectation yes. so the moment <laughs> you pour, you have expectations on yourself you are putting undue pressure on yourself yes. so if you are able to get 70 because of those expectations and re- related pressure you will end up getting 50 yes. so there are many students who are capable of getting 70 marks easily but in the end they only get 50 55 marks so preparation is not just about learning the subjects it is also about developing the right attitude and the mentality required to crack uh, such an exam under a kind of pressure like situation so did you make any mistakes i'm sure you would have made mistakes how many mistakes you made so silly mistakes after uh, exam mm. had over mm. i thought i had attempted around 90% of the paper mm. uh, correctly because at that time mm. i thought everything i attempted was correct mm. but uh, soon after i uh, got to check the keys then i realized i did many silly mistakes i could even remember each each one of those questions uh, even if it is about a range point or anything i did silly mistakes and uh, uh, I, i think in one of the communication questions yes sir. you exactly got what answer one I point think, uh, uh, for a communication information theory question i got answer as 1.99 but uh, uh, okay i put it as 2 uh, uh, i okay at that point of time even if you consider what sir said you have to be in the right mindset don't take things lightly if it is my 1.99 i should have put that as 1.99 uh, i put it in myself saying that ah 1.992 doesn't matter much you should not uh, take those things lightly Uh, concentrate properly when you are writing the exam whatever you get put uh, put that properly i think yeah. so for that you lost two marks yes and a couple of other questions as well yes yeah. i did some silly so easily you could have gone up to 80 so if you had okay i mean always there will be ifs and buts hmm. uh, that is how life is okay yes. <laughs> anyway so what is your uh, next plan uh, yeah so as i always wanted i think uh, with this rank i would get an opportunity to do my masters in one of the old i, I sorry i this i have some some uh, branches in mind i think i'll get them so mm. especially vlsa related i think i'll go through that so definitely you'll do well because i mean i have followed your journey right from the beginning yes sir till the very end prana is very close to me see more than the rank what i like very much about prana is okay he he learned the subject from from the gate point of view but more than gate he put the subject first he is so strong in subjects like edc and analog unfortunately this year edc paper was like pedestrian level yes even people who do not know edc can solve all the questions but that is how gate is okay so with this uh, strong foundation that you have built up at om yes you will be definitely far more successful than any other guy in the vlsi industry yeah. and i Thank wish you, you all the very best thank you
Thank you, Pranay, Thank you very much. for being part of FORM. Once again, I congratulate you.